Hey everybody, we're going to do a quick SFML refresh for everybody and everything. I looked, I had trouble with the install here, and I looked on my website on YouTube, and I don't have a video that describes the install, okay? So first of all, you go to SFML, and uh, the website itself, the download version, it says all oh, these compiler versions had to match. Crap, no, they don't. Okay, you just download the latest one, whatever. I'm using the 64 bit 2017 version, which is two versions behind, right? Because there was 2019 and then there was now 2022, which is what I'm on. Okay, I downloaded that. You go into it, it has all the stuff here. Let's just look, see. S uh, <laughs> SFML. Okay, so it includes all this stuff. You get the bin, the docs, the examples. Okay, what's important is the include. You want to take all the include stuff. And you want to copy that over. It tells you on the website, too. This is just the download directory. This is the introduction where it tells you how to actually uh, do it. The tutorial is the first one you should read. Okay, it explains how to configure your projects. We're going to go through this. Download it from the download the package from the thing, all this fun stuff. There's no... So you have to compile it yourself. You don't have to compile it yourself. Just use the latest one. Okay, we're going to go through that again. I keep saying it. Okay, creating and configuring an SFML project. And then it takes you through it. Okay, so all configurations, you go into C++, general, so that when you do that, what you do is you go into your solution. Okay, the project, of course, is right here. And then you just go into properties, C++, okay, and additional include directories, and you put SFML in there. So you do that by just clicking on it. You go into edit, and it lets you put it right in there. Okay, you just click and paste. General. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do here. Optimization, what else was there? The preprocessor, okay. This is the section it's talking about for this, with the static stuff, but I'm not gonna do the static right now. Uh, then the other pl the other thing, let's go through this. So then the next one is linker general, okay. So then you just go down to linker general and additional library directories. And again, you're gonna put SFML in there, same process. Okay, usually when I do this, I use all configurations. I just finally got it to work on the debug. I'm going to go back and try to get it to work on the on the, um, on the the release version after this video because I don't really want to mess it up. Plus, I want to record everything as I have it set up here so that if I change it, I can go back and watch the video and fix it. So I'm doing this video for you, but I'm also doing this video for myself. Now, so here was something that I ran across. Let's go down further because we'll get to that. Uh, so the next step, link your application to the files, blah, 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 blah. There's one for each of them. So here's here's the point that I missed. <laughs> the main point that SM SFML is made of five modules, and there's one library for each module. And then in addition to that, each module has dependencies. Okay, we'll get into that. So what you do in here in the link input section, additional dependencies, here's where you add all of the libraries one for each module and then and then you also list the dependencies okay this is the stuff that talks about using the static okay so we're going to skip that for now because we're not doing that but what i was missing was this and i'm because i'm just using the audio in the network but i included everything and what i did was it was really handy was i went through with uh where's notepad i gotta keep i anyways so I just put it off to the side and then just copy and paste them in over here. But don't forget the major ones over here. Like right now, I need to put this one in there too, even so. But anyways, for my purposes, I just put them in. And what you can do if you're having, if you want to look at the ones that you've got in here, just go in here, hit All, Control A, and then Control C. And then you can bring it into your notepad, and you can see what all you have installed here, right? So like, for instance, if I go back to the website and I look at which ones I'm missing and I want to do the network one, right? So then let's just go up here and we'll go to, like I'll put it in right now, SFML, uh, oh, system's already included, and WS2 underscore 32. Oh, it looks like I'm already set up for network. Okay, so I don't need to change anything. But if I did, I can just control A, copy it here, go back in, Control A and paste, and then everything's rewritten, right? Then apply when you come back out. Okay, and that is pretty much uh, all you have to do to do the setup. And the thing I was missing was right here. The other thing you need to keep track of, you see how these are dash S, dash S? Okay, I'm not using dash S. If you look at mine, they're dash D. 
that is for the debug okay so dash s is for the static uh, libraries which don't use the DLL okay so that will, this will take this little portion of the tutorial will take you through that so long story short then when I go into my project and I add it in wait where are we at so I, <laughs> I added in the audio this is where you link right you're linking up here to your project stuff I'm just using it for audio because I I want to use OpenGL for graphics and stuff then I instantiate a music class I call it music and then inside my my uh, program this is it this is all I do to get the music I'll show you in a second music open from file forest.ogg and if it doesn't work it returns negative one and I think it closes the program <laughs> which I could just print an error and I don't have to exit the program uh, actually in fact let's do that let's just change that out because I didn't realize that did that I just copied and pasted earlier uh, music not loaded and then we'll just go there and then why would we say music play right there let's put in an else and then we'll music play like that okay and then we'll show you how that works <coughs> so it works and it's actually playing that music and then I've got I've got a bunch of stuff I added I've been doing the streaming on Twitch I'm not going to show you all the stuff I've been adding right now um, although I could but main thing I wanted to show off was the uh, the music I guess I can show you real quick but I've got the cursor the shader I can change the shader now back and forth and then the grid like I can make it more complex or less complex right and then I can also change the color of the cursor and then I added a feature too so that uh, you can scroll in and out and so the cursor gets further away and then just left click and you place them into the world you can place as many blocks up to a thousand right now but eventually you'll be able to place as many blocks as you want like if you wanted to make a little red pool you just come over here let's shorten it up and then just hit a little get a little section of red pool going on there so you got a little section of red pool so let's get a screen <coughs> screenshot there although we should probably use a screenshot with the SFML stuff <laughs> all right thanks for watching I hope this helps some people with the SFML stuff and if you have any questions on SFML of course go ahead and leave a comment on the video um, find me on twitch or I'm gonna be streaming daily on twitch now find me on uh, Twitter and you'll see links to all the SFML stuff in the description as well as links to my other twitch Twitter uh, YouTube, uh, of course you're on YouTube, all that stuff. All right. Phew. And I will update eventually with all the stuff that I've been adding, like that other fun stuff, you know. We can show you the code for that, because I am GUI is really super easy uh, to add into the project. Um, all right, thanks again for watching.